sorry guys, let me just let me just squeeze on by anyways. Uh, G I Joe. That's right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a special movie reaction to G.I. Joe, the movie 1987. Right as we start the video, a car goes by. Just great stuff. I'm watching this movie for one reason and one reason only. A lot of people on my channel recommended this movie after I watched Transformers, that original Transformers the movie. You know, the crazy one where all of the Autobots die. Spoilers, by the way, but I guess it was made in the 80s, so it's okay if I spoil it now. But because I watched that Transformers movie, a lot of people suggested that I watch this G.I. Joe movie, and I cannot wait because the animation looks very similar to the Transformers movie that I watched, and I loved the animation of that movie. So basically, I just want some cheesy lines, I want some epic music, and I want some good animation. And that's all I'm expecting from this movie today. I'm also doing this movie on the couch. As you can see, this is my new apartment, but this is the living room of my new apartment, not where I'm going to be doing most of my reactions. I'm going to be doing that in my room, which is just behind me, but I haven't finished setting it up yet. So I'm doing the reaction on my couch today. And remember, if you want to check out more of my reaction, hit my Patreon of uncut and early access reactions to my movies and TV shows that come up to three weeks early, as well as exclusive Patreon live streams, movie polls, movie reactions and so much more thank you so much to let's get back to the video okay i hope you guys are ready to chill with me i'm just gonna lounge on this couch and watch this movie on the tv right here i'm pretty excited i can't lie so anyways i hope you enjoy my reaction to gi joe the movie I think I forgot to say, for anyone who wasn't in the uncut reaction, I have zero knowledge of G.I. Joe. I have zero knowledge, besides there's a character called Snake Eyes. So I'm pretty excited for this movie. A real American hero, let's go! Dude, Cobra? Cobra Kai? Taking flight, Cobra! Cobra Kai. So I've just been watching Cobra Kai recently. Okay, this is pretty epic. <laughs> this is pretty epic. Fighting for freedom wherever there's trouble over land and sea. Dude, the animation is already stunning. Oh my god. Oh my god, he just destroyed that jet. Who are these characters? They look so cool. It's like all of them are Rambo on steroids. Daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose to de Oh, it's not just one dude. Determined to rule the world. Okay, well, I'm glad the movie gave me exposition there. <laughs> it helped a lot. What, did Cobra just have a spaceship? America! Yeah, give that flag back to the Statue of Liberty. This is the coolest, most American opening for a movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god. But Jess Meredith as Col What the heck? He's flipping in Rocky. I reacted to all the Rocky movies, by the way, if you haven't checked those out. Really enjoyed them. Sergeant Slaughter and Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Those flying things are super cool. They're like little white peas in the sky. The cobra looks so cool. I want to be part of Cobra. Well, maybe I don't want to be part of Cobra. They are the bad guys, but I want a Cobra shirt. Fools! We possess power! I thought that was an actual Cobra for a second. <laughs> From us, on every front, our most dangerous end- I'm gonna guess his name is King Cobra. Dare say! The fault, most Imperial Serpentor, lies not- oh, Imperial Serpentor, that's even cooler than King Cobra. But it is not mine that is inadequate, Cobra Commander. It is yours. Your ego-driven stupid- Cobra Commander sounds like Starscream a little bit. It's my superb! Stewardship of Cobra, but you don't have the courage to let them speak! Oh, okay, Cobra Commander. It's only fair to say that Cobra Commander is a world-class buffoon. 
Oh, what? Destro's treacherous assassination of my character go unchallenged, will you? Certainly not. <laughs> I will also say the same thing. And your frequent displays of cowardice. <laughs> <laughs> that guy has a good mustache, so I like him. What the beans? It's like a lizard. What? It's like an eel with a. It's an electric eel. It's an electric eel. Again and again and again! You're not just a fool! You're Cobra's cat! <laughs> Inexcusable! Why are they all hating on him? I was trying to be Gollum or something. <laughs> what, what did he do wrong though? <laughs> Why is he so bad? He reminds me of Starscream, I can't lie, from Transformers. <laughs> Get trapped, buffoon. What? I wish I had fingernails like that. The laser fire looks really cool, like the explosions on the ground, those like yellow and red animation streaks look really cool. I must stay here. We will intercept the intruder. I will meet this intruder. Head on! Go for it. If something happened to Sir Pentor, it would be tragic, wouldn't it? We <laughs> shall stop this. We should make him fight. <laughs> What the heck? It's a whoopee cushion and a tape measure. What is this thing? Is this an alien? Are there aliens in G.I. Joe? That way! <laughs> <laughs> Letting whoever this is kill the, the leader. Oh, some of your cape. They're like alien face huggers. None may challenge Serpentor! <laughs> well, I do. But who is this woman? A vision. In a memory, great Serpentor. What, great? And now it is time for you to fulfill your destiny. Behold, the broadcast energy trap. <laughs> Steal this for me. See, I thought she was going to kill Serpentor, but it turns out she is either a fan or is going to work with him. Main frame? Well, Dial Tone, they're going to hear about the broadcast energy transmitter all over uh, the world. Okay, but it's going to get stolen soon. Hey, hey, be careful. Well, let's find out if we've wasted a billion taxpayer dollars. Here we go. A billion. This thing. In the 80s. Um, it's working! Oh, it's working, but... Is it? <laughs> it looks pretty intense. Whoa, you stop! 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 Where was he go? Oh my god. Stop the broadcast energy transmitter! This I command! It's such a mouthful. Broadcast energy transmitter. Oh. Nervous type! Yo, Joe! Oh my days. Press forward! Possess the broadcast energy transmitter! You don't have to say the full title every time. Don't! Well, it looks like you have been destroyed. Dude, this guy is so cool. He's just standing on top of the car. BETs are only shot. Go on. Go on! I love the missiles. I love he's just flying around on this thing, on his chair. Oh. See, I was about to say, this could be a negative side effect. Debating the Joe's weapons! It could just start firing missiles when it's, everything's powered on. Oh my god, you're still alive? I love how he just generates cobras. Oh, he can't wait for the emperor to die. Oh! Oh!
Oh my god, is he dead? Retreat! What coward called retreat? Sapento needs us! Who do you think called retreat? What coward do you think? Yeah, they should have been there. And now they have the worst leader of all time. Cobra's Drew, what do we do? Uh, Cobra's through. What do we do? He's Dr. Seuss. Let's wreck us some reptile. No! I love this guy. I love this guy. Oh, right. Me eyes are playing tricks. <laughs> Who is this guy? Hey, governor. What's this all mean? <laughs> what? Who is this guy? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, what is that? That is awesome. Why don't we have stuff like this in the real world? It's battle time! Go, Joe! I love Go, Joe! I love it. Oh my god, who are these people? Gotcha now, you slippery creep! Come on, I really want him to get captured. But he's not, is he? This guy is so sick. Oh my god. He knows these people? You are as impressive as ever. <laughs> so fair. Columbulus will have your head for this. It is not his head you should be worrying about. Oh my god, it's her, of course. Nemesis Enforcer, fetch Cobra Commander. <laughs> she let him get on and start driving before she's like, go after him. Oh. Okay. Never order someone to let you go if you're like a hundred feet off the ground like Uber Commander was just. The Fang Gang's bound to take a whack at him. And we'll need all the Joes we can get to whack back. What if I lead a search party after- Make an army of Joes. Only Joes are allowed. No Bobs. Security station while you're away. Yo, Yo Joe! Yo Joe! I love that. I love that. I'm gonna start saying that. I want a stone cold righteous oh. attention. The guy in red, Snake Eyes. Your chin is. Snake Eyes is the only thing I know about GI Joe. Go to the Taylor Wallpapers Foot Locker. Weird stuff. I think he had a date or something. Oh, good for him. Watch out for surprises. Big deal. I got kicked out of kindergartens with tougher playgrounds than this. <laughs> what kind of kindergartens did he go to? Oh, this is actually kind of smart, you know. Big lob goes for the goal! Go on. He cuts cross court, sidestepping the opposition. Of course, of course they're doing basketball torbs. Torbs? Torbs. Break speed near the end zone! What is that? Will it drop in? Yes! Dude, I like this guy. I kind of am sad that he's not gonna win now, I think. Big lob scores! And the crowd goes bananas! Okay, there was no winning. They just did it. Somewhere in this village is a time bomb set to go off in five minutes. Find it and dispose of it. No problem. What kind of tasks are these? These are awesome. But the thing is, these are going to be real bombs too. You know what I mean? He's trained to sniff out explosives. Or they're sick. That's cheating. <laughs> oh, good boy. I was gonna say the dog's gonna chase after the mob. Beachhead, he's usually quite obedient. I hope you both get fleas. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going this guy's way. Hey, you do that! Oh, he knows what to do. This guy is insane. Either that or he heard you want bad luck later. Okay, let's fight. Sparring. Any problem with that? Yeah. Your eyes keep them open. Why? <laughs> you need your eyes closed. Care to try it again? My way? As my blind ninja master used to say, huh. keenest eye is that which looks inward. That is so cool. Go on. Beat him up. Oh, I just suppose they were cobra creeps. Look out! Ooh, do it again! Not bad. Lieutenant Falcon, you're supposed to be aware of those regulations. 
I'll Hello. take the lady okay. elsewhere, sir. I didn't know that Duke was the name of the main guy. I thought his name was G.I. Joe. But I doubt he's gonna have much time for socializing with either of us from here on. Now make like an amoeba and split. <laughs> I like that one. Make like an amoeba and split. He just had a bathing suit on underneath. That is so epic. Taking a dip, oh love. <laughs> oh my god. Good job. Oh my god. Well, who are you? I didn't know it was you. Neatly done, sister. Oh my god. She's a spy. Blimey. It's a bloomin' sea monster. Why are they all British? Are, are, are they evil? Is that why? I mean, I know they're evil, but are they British and evil? If anyone's dumb enough to try anything, they gotta get past him first. I figure he'll give us all the warning we need. Falcon, man. Nice legs for a grease monkey, soldier. Falcon! Oh my god! Ow. Oh my god. Feel so silly, you- Stow it, Falcon. I'm allergic to baloney, and you should be guarding Serpento. Yes, I love this woman. <laughs> But for the but she has insane nails. Then they'd have to get past three of our best guys. He's just saying it as it happens. He should stop talking. The lamb sack has been cut. Oh man. Oh, this guy's like bulletproof. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be a Transformers situation where they just kill characters. Put yourself. Oh wow. Force was able to penetrate security, free Serpentor, and injure three good men. Yep, you should slap him. To quarters until court martial. You should really slap him. It's like a flying maggot taco. Repair the path of esteem. The designs and animation for all the characters are super cool. This is so awesome. It's like this naturalistic machine stuff. You know what I mean? It reminds me of the the robots in the Matrix, where they're biological machines. Back to all the Matrix movies on the channel, by the way. Know that I am Golabulus. Supreme ruler of this kingdom of co- There's no way he just said Golabulus was his name. I implanted the idea and the skill in Dr. Mindbender's rather pedestrian brain. Oh, interesting. Where is the broadcast energy transmitter? I was unable just to say capture it, but I should- Bet. Where is the BET? The trial of Cobra Commander. Oh my god. And he's in a clam? That's awesome. Probably has really clammy hands. Can't obey orders. Your record is a shameful parade of insubordination and gross dereliction of duty. Yeah, that's actually so fair. I just know underneath it all there's a Joe worth saving. Oh yeah. Falcon is my half brother. What? Okay, that's some bias. There's some bias here. I promised our mother I'd keep an eye on him. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the job. Oh, fight. Hey, nobody's gonna take the rap for me. I don't need your help anymore, Duke. Get out of- Oh my god. I'm sending you to the slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse? That sounds worse than whatever the other punishment was. Uh, I am always prepared to listen to- <laughs> Okay, Cobra Commander. That wrong must be avenged in accordance with our ancient tradition. Ooh, I like the color change there. Thousand years ago, the glory of Cobra La dominated this planet. Cobra La, that's awesome. To preserve our ways and await an opportunity to reclaim the Earth. Okay, that makes sense. My attention. What the heck? Oh, Even though he has so many eyes. He was my oh. choice to go into the world to raise a mighty army. That's how Cobra Commander looks like? Face reveal. Miserably, I was betrayed. My troops lacked courage. It was not my fault. I think you're also just a bad leader. Destroy him! What's gonna happen? Is he just stuck in a clan? 
mature and launch hundreds of giant pods into orbit. That's awesome. That is actually so awesome. I love the biological technology. But mutating them into primitive, incompetent life forms. Why do you need Cobra Commander then in the first place? If you could have just done this, why did you need Cobra Commander? To the level of mindless beasts. That's pretty awesome. Well, I mean, it's horrible, but it's pretty awesome. The pods will not ripen in freezing space without energy. And that's why they need the bat. The broadcast energy transmitter. <laughs> Take a shot every time they say that. This is how he hurt his face to begin with. Oh. Oh. Ooh, how bizarre. Oh, he's even more buff now, though. Put him in with the Joe prisoners so they can see the fate which awaits them. I like that. It's poetic <laughs> in its simplicity. <laughs> okay. Wait, I swear his bash should no cobras. Yeah. Oh, this guy is definitely a G.I. Joe. You. He's so amazing. My name is Sergeant Slaughter. Spe Slaughter? Oh, okay. Or in a ditty bag. An itty bitty ditty bag. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was the best line in the movie so far. Say hello to Mercer, ex Cobra Viper who's seen the light. <laughs> oh, see, that's why there's an ex of the Cobra, though. I could see that. If you're going to be there in time for breakfast, it's a long haul. Do you expect me to walk? No! No, expect you to run. He looks inhuman. Forget that man, remember the plan. When the gods will get that man, remember the plan. This guy rhymes everything. <laughs> no, that was a good plan. Wait for me! Wait, there's no way he joins the Joes. He joins the Joes. Prepared to handle all contingencies, my impetuous friend. He was just ready for this. Oh man. Oh, the animation there, that, that long shot was super cool. To play it straight, or well, there's no doubt, I turn your eyeballs inside out. I think this guy is supposed to rhyme every line, and it is amazing. Nemesis Enforcer, dispose of him. This is gonna be a cool fight, actually. The poet who doesn't know it versus the enforcer. Don't look! Ah, oh, my eyes! He said, "Don't look." I can't see. Oh my I'll God! Be your eyes. Run! <laughs> Which direction, though? Oh, did you lose them, buddy? Look at him sulking as he walks back. Our mission is not complete until we return with the broadcast energy transmitter. <laughs> it's another shot. Just say bet. Just say B E T. Don't hang together. I was once a man. A oh. Man. Face reveal again. I masked. Just as I Whoa. was once a man. Whoa, now he's a lizard. Have you ever seen his face before? <laughs> I can't believe they made someone blind though. That's pretty big, actually. See if Cobra knows what happened to Roadblock's men. Uh, how's Falcon doing? I'm looking at him. <laughs> He's doing. We're gonna infiltrate the terror drone on Cobra Island. That's suicide. <laughs> yeah, the suicide squad now. Anyway, it'll be safer here until our missing buddies return. <laughs> oh, you? oh my god. How is it so easy for them to infiltrate? G.I. Joe security is literally zero they have zero security measures she just climbed the fence that's all she did the real men can go in the cowards can stay out here <laughs> i like that line the joes can't stop us from capturing it now they're off balance and undermanned wow good thing these guys are listening to this me no comfort pipe down i believe them right now we gotta warn headquarters yeah, let's go can you get the word out? i think any of these guys are gonna die <laughs> He's sitting on a box labeled danger. I love it. Yo, Joe, Joe! 
<laughs> Surprise attack? No such thing. We have to yell Yo Joe every time. <laughs> oh man. That's not good. Wait, did his mask say ouch? I swear his mask just said ouch. And why does the microphone have a cobra on it? That is awesome. Come in, G.I. Joe. Acknowledge. <laughs> like, look at that microphone. Isn't that just so unnecessarily awesome? Time to go bye-bye, or boom-boom! <laughs> this guy's so awesome. Uh, all I gotta do is hold out for five more minutes. Oh, yeah. Dude. Dude, why was he standing so sexily like that? When I'm through, Scott's bucket, they're gonna scrape you off the walls with a squeegee. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> what to do? Help! 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 Help me! Dude, he's such a coward. Remember Bob. Must hurry. Oh my god. Out of here. The whole base. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh my god. Cobra is finished, yes? That was really cool. Of course. Let's go! Oh, Attacking for the BET. Secure the BET! See, they can say BET. Why can't the other guy say it? I'm not actually annoyed. I just think it's funny. <laughs> Time, Jinx! Yo, Yo Joe! Yo, Joe, let's go! Aww. No, Joe. First one to say anything about my being bad luck gets a knuckle massage. Your bad luck. I want a knuckle massage from her. <laughs> yeah, I too would be confused when alien biological weapons are fired at me. Let's go! It'd be so funny if they got shot down straight away. Okay, guys, so prove much. us wrong. Fluidity in the animation. Like the motion is so good. The perspectives are really cool. The, the detail in the animation is amazing. Oh they basically did crash straight away. I <laughs> can't lie. Man, who ever heard of being shot down by a salad? <laughs> <laughs> Where do they come up with these lines? <laughs> Go, bro! La, 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 a chainsaw. <laughs> Trying the best, but no cigar. Wow. Inform Sapinto, the prize is ours. Blow it up. Oh my god, they actually have it. What? <laughs> oh my god, the ragtag crew. Cobra! <laughs> Cobra la 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 is way less intimidating than Yojo. Although Yojo is not that intimidating either. Oh wow. Oh my god. Duke! Imagine if Duke dies. Arrogant Earth scum! No! Oh, come on. Oh no! Duke? Duke? You'll be in vain! This I command! I feel like Duke is like the main guy too, you know. Bad news. So Pintor got the BET and Duke is seriously injured. See to it. Dead. I'm coming seriously in. Injured. Do you think they'll kill him? How is he, Scarlet? Not good. Oh, imagine if he dies. Actually, imagine if he dies. I was joking when I said imagine if he dies the first time. I'll, I'll, I'll make you proud. You'll see. Yo. Jo. Whoa. He's gone and he yo Joe'd his last yo Joe. 
actually killed Duke. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. See, I actually like the Yojo now. It was used very effectively there for sad purposes. You couldn't say Cobra la 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 right as someone died, you know? It just doesn't hit the same. Prepare to move out. All I want is Serpentor. Just give me one clear shot. Okay. Useless. All useless. I was a man. He's actually just turning into a full on lizard. There he is. Hey. hey, you know what? That worked. They fell into the right place. Oh, yo. Yo, yo. Oh, Sound the alarm. The Joes are attacking. That snake is going way too slow. Someone needs to get it to move up a bit. Where those leaves grow, you can't survive. That giant plant eats Joes alive. <laughs> he speaks in riddles. <laughs> that really worked, did it? Everyone's just been captured. It's not gonna happen, right? Right! Let's win this game! I think your vision can be restored. Okay, that's good. I hear something. And now I can see it coming in. Oh, good. He has his vision back. Forget it. He's completely turned into a snake. Not yet. Now, how do we know? I don't think so. Not yet. Listen, I think I just found a back door. Oh, never mind. Maybe he has just turned into a snake. Hello, oh, hello. 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 Adios, adios, adios. <laughs> and Big Blob makes his move. Okay. Oh no. What keeps coming? Will the clock run out? I like this guy's confidence. Oh, there's people on those trees. They're keeping the people on the trees. That's really cool. That's on the final showdown. Aliens, Cobras versus Joes. I love that Cobra Commander is just there slithering along. Organisms of Cobra La, detach and defend to the death. Oh, this is pretty cool. No weapons. Dude, like a spider blade? Wow, this is so cool. This is very creative. Oh, okay, I'm so glad he escaped. That would have been a horrible fate. Bad for a first date, huh? Yeah, but next time let's watch a horror flick instead of living one. <laughs> so fair. Me. Oh my god. Yeah, she's super strong. And so shall you! Come on. Come on, Falco. Falcon. <laughs> Oh man. Oh no. Oh my god. I don't know. Other people could die in this movie. I don't know. I am still have trauma from Transformers. Oh. Oh, good throw. Commander! No! Save it. Yes. Cobra Commander. I knew I liked this guy. Oh my days. Oh! Oh, she's just gone. Is that it? Nice. This is for me! <laughs> yes. For the US Army! <laughs> USA over everyone. Drag him down with you. Oh. This is why you never wear capes. Edna Mode was right from The Incredibles. You're next. Whoever you are. He has one giant ball sack, this guy, doesn't he? Oh! No one, no one defies Galobulus! Rip the eye off him. This guy's design is so cool, this Galobulus guy. It's the cracking of your vertebrae! Oh my god. One by one! Come on, stab him with it. Oh! I think I was stabbed in the face. Nice! Oh, it's done. The world has been saved. We 
He's just getting back into his sack. We failed. No, not yet. What are you doing? Reverse the polarity. You can fry those spores in space. Oh. Oh my God. Or the other. Get out of here and leave you. No way. There's no way he dies too. He has to tie that so perfectly. That was actually insanely awesome. Oh man. The Cobra La is Cobra no more. This is Doc at headquarters. Great news. Duke's come out of his coma. Looks like we made it. Oh my god, Duke's alive? Doc says Duke's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Yeah. I actually don't really like that he's alive, to be honest with you. I think they needed to kill him. It feels kind of like a cop-out. <laughs> I mean, probably great if you're a fan of Duke. If there was a show before this movie, probably great. It just feels like they should have killed him. I think that was it. There we go. That's G.I. Joe the movie. It is completely over. Just some cast now. Just some cast. That movie was really fun. I mean, animation was spectacular. It was just like action and action and action. Some insane character designs. If I was a kid, I would have been so into G.I. Joe. If I had seen this movie, I would have been so... In like, I would have watched this movie a lot if I was a kid. Yeah, I really liked it. Anyways, see you for the review. And that was my reaction to G.I. Joe. Um, the 1987 G.I. Joe movie. And that movie was very, very fun. I think I enjoyed the Transformers movie more than I did the G.I. Joe movie. However, I still had fun with this movie. I think my biggest thing is that because I'm not attached to the characters, I'm not like incredibly mad that characters die. So for instance, in the Transformers movie, a lot of the Transformers die. A lot of those like first gen, you know, Optimus Prime type Transformers, they die to make way for a second lineup of toys. So obviously there's like a financial thing there. But still, the fact that they die, I found to be very ballsy. And because I don't have an attachment to them or like I didn't grow up to them as a kid, I just found it to, and I didn't know about like the Hasbro stuff. I didn't know about them trying to make a new wave of toys and stuff like that. I just found it to be like a very cool thing, like a very gutsy thing for a kid's movie to have that shows kids death at a very early age and I felt like the Duke thing in this movie was a cop-out you know I felt like he died he said yo Joe and then he died and it was a really good death you know he saves himself for his I think he said it was his half brother but I'll just call him brother Duke saves himself saves himself Duke saves his brother while getting stabbed in the heart by this like snake thing this like snake pole and then you know he collapses he says that there's no the doctors can't perform any miracles today and then he dies and he says yo joe and he dies and it's a really good death i thought it was actually a very powerful death and if i was watching that as a kid i would be pretty traumatized I, again i'm not quite sure if there was a show before this i'm assuming that gi joe was a show before the movie just like transformers was a show before the movie i've never heard of the old animated gi joe show before so this is the only thing gi joe related that i've ever watched and the only other thing i know about gi joe besides now this movie the information that i learned in this movie is that snake eyes is a character that existed but snake eyes isn't in this movie so i maybe i'm just making up snake eyes even though i don't think i am because there was a movie that came out a few years ago called snake eyes which apparently was tied to gi joe in some way but i didn't see that movie but i just heard about it but anyways when duke when they said that duke is out of his coma it just felt like a cop-out you know what i mean it felt like he should have stayed dead and maybe they want to keep him around for more seasons of the show maybe he's like a titular character or a main character or something he wasn't the main character in this movie but maybe in the show he is kind of like your main character kind of like your optimus prime of gi joe if you will but still i felt like he should have stayed dead at least for the movie revive him in the show or something but at least for the movie have him stay dead just because the impact of his death just felt a lot less plus the impact of cobra and co and everyone in cobra lot and stuff just felt like a lot less because they didn't actually manage to kill anyone the blind person the blind guy who just kept rhyming everything his effects were reversed and then now duke's effects were reversed because he's alive again so 
you know, the thing in Transformers was that I really believed that Unicron was evil and I was scared of him because he killed and not just him, but the, the Decepticons also, I was scared of them because they killed the Autobots. It was scary. They were a real threat. But in this movie, Cobra just felt like less of a threat than something like the Decepticons in the Transformers movie. But that's kind of my main criticism of it. I just needed to get that off my chest and just kind of describe to you how I felt about that. Maybe you guys have different opinions. Maybe you guys watched this as a kid and you were, I mean, if I had watched this as a kid, I would probably be insanely excited that Duke was still alive. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Duke, let's go. But as an adult, well, how do you feel about Duke surviving? Do you think he should have died? Please let me know in the comments. But yeah, besides that, everything else about this movie was just so much fun. There were so many great one-liners, especially again, from the guy that was rhyming everything. I don't know, it, it, I feel like it's just his shtick that he rhymes everything, but it was so much fun. Every single line that he had, he would just rhyme two sentences together and they would be the funniest sentences of all time. In fact, this movie just in general, had the funniest sentences of all time. Like, I never thought we'd be attacked by a salad. Like, where do the writers come up with these lines? Did they have to take meth? Did they have to get high on something, on a substance, <laughs> to think of these lines? Because some of these lines were insanely funny and insanely random, just like the characters. You may have been familiar with the characters if you had watched the show. I obviously was not familiar with any of the characters. First of all, I wanted to say that the characters in this movie were insanely cool. They looked amazing. They sounded amazing. Just the whole design of every single character was so unique and so different and so like, I don't know, rewarding, I guess? I don't, I don't know. It just felt like so much effort was put into each character, background characters, regular characters, every single one of them had something unique about them. And I love the movie for that. This movie was so detailed and you could see that in its characters you know every character had their own outfits their own hairstyles i mean most of them either had american accents or british accents which i thought was pretty funny but you know in terms of the actual appearance of the characters and then when it goes past and you go to cobra and stuff and you go past the human characters we got some insanely cool creature designs globulus or whatever the main villain's name is in this movie not the superior cobra guy and not cobra commander but the globulus guy his design is awesome and i think one of the reasons that design is so awesome and not just in him but in many of the characters is because it's things that you don't expect you know what I mean? Like for Globulus or Globula, or whatever you want to call him. He's like this dude in this like big ball sack, you know, this big green ball sack. And you think that's all to him. And he looks cool. He has this green arm. He has like this really cool body with this kind of eye patch that's green, but then it can turn red and he's in this big gooey ball sack. And it looks really, really cool. But then all of a sudden he just splits open the ball sack and he's this serpent. And obviously he's a serpent because he lives in Cobra Lai. I guess I should have seen that coming, but still it's really cool and there's the, the designs just kind of take you for a loop and go oh my god that's awesome the missile mushrooms awesome the bridge that turns out to be a thing turns out to be a creature awesome the ships that are also creatures awesome just the whole biological machines and biological cities and stuff like that that Cobra was really cool concept reminded me of the matrix matrix which i watched on the channel all four of the movies plus the animatrix which was super fun but it reminded me of the matrix a lot even though this came out way before the matrix so i guess the matrix reminds me of gi joe the movie <laughs> but yeah i thought the animation was stunning the battle scenes were amazing the animation was so fluid in the way that it was drawn in the way the action was made in the way things moved the perspective was really cool it kept all the detail just I wish we still had animation like this, this 2D, super detailed, kind of like trying to be realistic, trying to be cartoony animation. I, I think it looks fantastic between this and Transformers. I'm a huge fan of this animation style. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the review there. I mean, I don't really have too much else to say besides just gushing over the animation again and the one-liners, which were super, super fun. I did have some issues with this movie. I did prefer Transformers more, but I'm really glad I got around to watching this G.I. Joe movie. And who knows, maybe one day I'll check out some other G.I. Joe related stuff. I know there's new movies or newer, new-ish movies with Dwayne Johnson, I think, as the lead role in the G.I. Joe movies. I think there's two of them even. I know there's a recent Snake Eyes movies. I don't know if they're supposed to be good or not. I assume they're not very good because I never hear anyone talk about them. But I'm glad I finally know what G.I. Joe is. Anyways, 
Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. If you guys have any recommendations between this and Transformers, anything similar to these types of movies that you watched as a kid, these animated movies and stuff, or not even, don't, they don't even have to be animated, just movies that you remember watching as a kid that you're very nostalgic for, that are fun, that are entertaining, then please let me know and I'll try to give it a watch if I ever have the time. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.